Cold and flu season is packing a punch and younger kids are taking the brunt of it. KCCI Scott Carpenter is live at Blank Children's Hospital tonight. Scott, some clinics are really struggling to keep up with all these patients. Yeah, they really are, Stacy, and so many of them are coming in, the kids, with respiratory illnesses. In fact, the majority of those getting treated for respiratory illness here at Blank are suffering from RSV, and Blank Children's Hospital just set a record that they don't want to set. We hit some record volumes in our emergency department last night. Viruses are going around and parents are taking notice. Obviously that's that's concerning. You're obviously concerned for the, the kids and, and the parents. Jared Audie is a father of two little ones in grade school. He says he's closely monitoring them as cold and flu season runs rampant. So we have a lot of respiratory illness going through. Dr. Wendy Wood Swafford is the chief medical officer for Blank Children's Hospital. She says RSV is particularly tough on young children and with so many germs going around, wait times are stacking up. We are experiencing wait times like we've never experienced before in the pediatric emergency room, up to seven hours to be wait to be seen by a provider. Earlier this week, Blank Children's Hospital saw 135 patients in the ER in 24 hours. With that many kids, they have to prioritize who gets seen first. Dr. Wood Stratford says too many people are treating the ER as their family doctor. Use your other resources. Always call your primary care physician first and let them triage you. They may be able to see you in the office the next day. They may be able to have you not seen at all. We have lots of people who are coming in and not feeling great. Dr. Bauscher is a family physician at Mercy One in Waukee. She says people are coming in feeling miserable from cold and flu, but in most cases, a trip to the emergency room is not needed. The same day kind of visits are going to be the upper respiratory. So runny nose, cough, sinus pressure, sore throat, um, maybe some fevers too. So to keep the emergency room working as it should, be sure to consult your family doctor first. Now, if you're sick, it's the usual. Stay home, stay hydrated, get plenty of rest. To avoid getting sick, well, flu shots, frequent hand washing, and daily exercise. We're live in Des Moines tonight. Scott Carpenter, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.